With the onset of Worlds 2022, I wanted to take the opportunity to review one of the key indications for the meta for potentially the entirety of the championship, and that's the AD carry meta. All of the balancing that needs to be done for Worlds is basically complete at this point, and we're pretty much set for a very diverse Worlds meta to arise. While that's great for competitive play and all, the main thing I want to point out in this video is how this meta will be absolutely dominated by AD carries, and just how confusing it can possibly be to draft and play around that right now. We have some interesting changes across the board, but ADCs in this meta specifically have been set up to actually dominate and be a staple component to most team compositions. Not only that, but we have some of the biggest diversity within the AD carry pool that we've seen in a very long time, with a crazy amount of back and forth when it comes to the types of compositions that supplement these champions, as well as an entire vast nest of matchups to worry about when it comes to them. That's where this kind of conundrum that's occurring with this meta comes from, but I think it makes for one that's super interesting. To start, most front to back comps are going to be extremely hard to run in the meta now, as pretty much every good AD carry that plays front to back has been nerfed significantly. If you really wanted to push for it, they are still playable at this point, but I'd say it's much, much harder to extract all the value that you're looking for from these champions now. On the other hand, most of the enchanters in the meta are still decently viable, but without the raw stats of the hyper carries they love to boost being there anymore, they naturally will also fall off a bit. There's a few exceptions with this in certain lane combinations of course, but I'll mention these when we get there. Overall, if you've done your research, this basically means that we're back in the meta with a ton of engage and teamfight heavy AD carries once again. If you're familiar with some of the champions viable in the past, we've got a lot of returning favorites. Misfortune, Jin, Kaisa, and Tristana are all popular picks that I expect to consistently take up the standings and drafting at this level. In addition, we're set to see a ton of other staple picks coming back to create some diversity as well. Champions like Caitlyn, Ezreal, Samira, and even Neela are set to be very valuable contributions to the meta in this case. All of these ADCs working together should create a very, very diverse set of AD carries that can make for both forward and backward styles. Starting off with overall implications for this on draft, that means that there's a combination of high priority on many AD carries, meaning that a lot of them are going to be prioritized early on in draft. At the same time, there is an interesting priority in draft to actually hold AD carry for a later pick in draft right now. This is because most ADC picks that you go for have some sort of way to actually plan a team composition around it that can be countered pretty hard. Although MF is probably the best in slot AD carry right now, she has fairly poor matchups into champions like Jin and Tristana. Caitlyn's also another excellent opener, except for champions like Misfortune and Jin that can cause her problems. This also opens up options like Ezreal into the Caitlyn as well. If some champions are banned, this can open up some of the forward picks to be played. Things like Kaisa and Samira openers become super viable again, but then whenever those are picked, we also have to think about the potential counters to that as well. This is where I love slotting in things like the Neela now as well, where she can counter these picks, reintroduce enchanters or slower picks into lanes, and spice things, spice things up. These champions also fare very poorly in some of this, into some of the other champions, like I mentioned, like, like Caitlyn, so that prevents them from being opened up as well. This whole web of AD carry picks makes things super interesting when it comes to potential approaches that teams opt for when drafting around AD carries as well. Do I open MF and then worry about potentially bad matchups? Do I ban out AD carries like Caitlyn on red side and then decide to deal with whatever the enemy can be one? Should I even save my AD carry pick for phase 2 since there's so many available? Maybe we can open Tristana and then use it as a flex pick. If we want to draft a forward comp, we will have to deal with an enemy team comp that will match that forward capability, or is the enemy going to try and respond with a defensive comp to answer? If you want to play forward, you can. If you want to prioritize ADC in draft, you can. But no matter which decision you do, there's different implications for each, and there's different things to watch out for in each. This leaves the field open for all types of teams and players to thrive, and the teams that will have the most success in Worlds right now will likely be the ones that can be flexible to multiple styles. This basically spells out a very spicy drafting meta that I'm excited for, and I look forward to what teams at Worlds actually come up with. Hopefully this was a really good insight into why the ADC conundrum exists in the Worlds meta right now, and hopefully this was insightful to you guys. I'll catch you in the next one though, so stay fresh.